let's go. Detroit balling, it's part of the culture. It's a deep base, the trade you in the poster. You know the facts, so while we test the roaster. Killing your haze, deadly handles our exposure, cool composure. Team stack to win the chip, act like I ain't told you. First round, first round. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pistol Mike. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. It don't cost you anything, not even a nickel or dime. Get that, get that in the link in the description if you want to, to help out. Your boy, shout out to Alex for always keeping me updated. Go subscribe to Pistol and Weekly Report. Also, man, also, don't skip them ads for your boy. Let's get into it, man. So, the Pistons, you know, um... We're going to talk about the 2023 draft already. Will the Pistons end up with Derek Whitehead? He's already got some interest in Detroit tries. We all know we just drafted Jay Nivey. His dad, you know what I'm saying, played at Country Day. His mom played for the Detroit Shot. And his grandfather played for the Detroit Lions. What if I told you? Derek Whitehead brother played for the Detroit Lions and, and actually got drafted by him. Okay. Not only that, what if I told you Derek Whitehead actually played with Kay Cunningham at Myron Barry Day? And not only that, the Pistons need another wing. You can easily draft Derek Whitehead and he's supposed to be a small forward. I'm seeing that he's anywhere between six four and a half and six foot six, big time athlete, strong, um, develop into more than just a running athlete. Um, has the capability to guard one through three, and has the capability to get his own shot. And you can easily slide over the Sadiq Bay to the four. You know what I'm saying? Have a big crazy lineup. Not only that, um, but a couple things he's going to Duke, and you know Duke produces really good players. And not only that, let's talk about this. One, we if we get in the top five again, if we do tank again, that's a possibility we do get them. Absolutely. But you guys got to think about this because Scoot Henderson and Victor Moimbayama are the first two. And then it can go can't win more and then Derek or you can flip flop. So it's a possibility we might not be high drafting high enough to get them, but we'll see. You never know how these things work out. We seen Jane Ivy had a lot of Detroit ties. Could huh, wink wink. Could this lead to you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure Derek Whitehead wouldn't mind playing with K Cunningham again. And his brother already paid for the line. So it's an interesting debate. So I didn't even know this myself. So you guys let me know. He is from New Jersey. Um, so he's from the East Coast. So he's used to the snow. So I don't think he would mind coming to Detroit. But it should be a very, very interesting storyline. You guys keep an eye on Derek Whitehead. I think he was the number one um, recruit class out of, in 2022 in this class. So he's the number one player. Um, one player of the year, Gatorade player of the year, average 17 points a game. Um, one thing, though, he can score. He He's a streaky shooter, can struggle against quicker guards, a little bit careless 
with the ball that could lead to turnovers, them the things, he, main things he's going to have to work on. And we all see if um, Duke is able to do that. You got to remember, they got a new coach. Um, one of the best coaches has just retired from Duke last season. So, shout out, you know, to you guys. Let me know. They got a lot of recruits out of Duke. Duke and Kentucky always got recruits. So, maybe we get one of the Blue Blood School. Um prospects. There's a lot of good prospects coming out in this draft. I just wanted to see how do you guys feel about Derek Whitehead possibly a piston. Maybe it's because of the Detroit uh, uh, ties, just like Jay Nagy. Hmm. It's just something to think about. I ain't going to do no more 2023 draft stuff until the season actually begins, until we start getting we start winning and losing games, but I might talk, I might actually make one more video with my boy, Steve, but shout out to everybody. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Don't cost you anything, not even nickel dime. Get that link in the description. Shout out to Alex for always keeping me updated. Have a blessed day. I'm out. Peace. They all jumping in, pissing mic, we taking flight, click like and subscribe, we can keep you right. Yeah, it's pissing mic.